guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to cover five top tips for picking up and handling your guinea pig. Things that will ultimately make you a better guinea pig handler. So I know how tricky it can be, especially in the beginning with scared, skittish piggies who always manage to escape. But it's really important that us owners learn to pick up and handle our guinea pigs correctly, not just for lap time and bonding with them, but for things like health checks, weighing and nail trimming amongst others. So some of these tips are just hacks and shortcuts to make it easier to lift your guinea pigs out of the cage but I wanted to make sure that I include advice for picking up your guinea pigs barehanded as nature intended or not. These are the tips that might take a bit of practice and understanding your guinea pigs behaviour but once you get good at them that's when you can really be a guinea pig whisperer and make handling your piggies look super easy. And tip number one is getting into the guinea pig mindset. So as I'm sure you already know, guinea pigs are prey animals and their natural instincts tell them that we are big scary predators to be avoided at all costs. So how does this affect us and our desire to pick up and cuddle our guinea pigs? And how can we use that to our advantage? Well, if we think like a guinea pig who wants to escape, chances are they are going to be looking out for one of two things. First up, just any escape route, whether that be bypassing grabbing hands and just running to the other side of the cage or secondly somewhere they can take cover such as a hidey house where they'll feel safe and protected. That means we need to be a little bit more strategic when it comes to picking up our guinea pigs and that means thinking about blocking off escape routes and access to hiding places and this is where the type of cage you have is very important. Obviously it's going to be more difficult with a cage that only has a side door compared to an open open top cages. Open top cages are always best and they really do make it so much easier for us to interact with our piggies. But either way, remembering the prey mindset is really important because it applies to all of the techniques that I'm about to describe. And our first technique is to use a transporter. Favourites tend to be things like soft fabric tunnels or any other beds like snuggle sacks for example that have a single large or small entrance. If you pop it in the cage, wait a moment for your piggies to investigate it, they are likely to go inside and then you can quickly scoop up the whole thing with them in. Sounds good doesn't it? But in reality we have some very clever piggies and some piggies that will quickly cotton onto the idea of what What's going on and that it is all a trap to capture them. If this happens to you then don't be disheartened. For a start it means you have very intelligent piggies and secondly you can still try to encourage them to use it by sort of going to pick them up but then using your hands to redirect them into the transporter. It takes some practice but it's important to get the hang of it because you'll need it for our next technique. And it is of course picking up your guinea pigs barehanded. Now this is my go-to technique with my piggies. I I rarely use a transporter anymore but it does rely heavily on understanding where your piggies are most likely to run to. But first things first, always introduce yourself. Hold a hand out to your piggy, let them sniff it and don't be too worried if they just run away. Next up, assess the cage and what the available escape routes and hiding places are. Can you block any of them off in advance? So coming over to the cage here, Roxy is over by the water bottle and I can see that she has two main escape routes open to her. Firstly, the one that she's most likely to do is turn around and go and hide under this hammock right here. Her other option is this hidey hut in the corner here, although Phoebe is in it so that wouldn't be a good option because Phoebe will probably try and bite her face off. But let's say Phoebe wasn't in there, this is one thing that we could alter before I attempt to pick Roxy up. And with a hidey like this I could simply lift the roof off and use it to block the entrance. Oh. <laughs> Bye then. And if your guinea pigs happen to already be in a hiding place or they've evaded you and run off to a hiding place like this wooden tunnel here, you could think about trying to expose them whilst also getting rid of other escape routes. And that's what I'm going to do with Phoebe here by lifting up the arch and blocking her access to the rest of the cage. Come on then, out you get. Good girl. And finally, if they do just happen to be hanging out in the middle of the cage like Pedro here, then before you dive in and try to pick them up, think first whether you can encourage them to somewhere where it is a bit easier to pick them up. So Pedro, 
he's walking off. <laughs> he really does vary in how well he escapes me. But in general, I know that if I can get him over to one of the open cuddle cup type beds in the corner of the cage, it is a lot easier for me to pick him up. So I'll do this by just using my hands to direct him and then pick him up from the bed. The other option, which you'll learn with time, is to be quick and act before they can escape. Especially as piggies get older and a bit slower, expert piggy handlers can scoop them up before they know what's happening, but it's not always guaranteed to work. So you've got your pig in a position where you want to pick them up. Firstly, always use both hands. If you're right-handed, place your right hand in front of them and your left behind. You want to encourage your pig to put his or her paws on your right hand so you can scoop them up using both hands. This leads us straight on to tip number four, which is holding our guinea pigs correctly. So once you've picked them up, as long as they are secure in your hands, lift them out of the cage horizontally, continuing to support the front of their body with your right hand and their bottom with your left, or vice versa if you're left-handed. Try and support their legs if you can, but it's not the end of the world if one slips loose. And always remember to hold them close to your body, where they will naturally feel a bit more secure and a Especially do this if you are going to walk anywhere with them. Don't try to reposition them until you are safely sat down with them and try to avoid holding them whilst you're standing up for too long. They will be much happier once you sit down and are able to place them in your lap. When you do this, having a blanket on hand can help make them feel less afraid as well. As for putting them back in the cage, hold them in the same way and a useful bit of advice is never lower them down head first. This is when some scared skittish piggies will struggle and try to jump out of their owner's hands, potentially hurting themselves. So many guinea pig injuries happen from kids picking up their guinea pigs and walking around with them and dropping them by accident. So if you are a parent and a piggy parent, then please be responsible and if you have any doubts about how secure your piggies are when your children are picking them up and walking around with them then it might be best to set a rule for your kids to only pick up their guinea pigs when they already have them out safe and secure in their lap. If this all sounds a bit overwhelming then just remember that practice is essential. So here's some ways you can practice and improve these skills. Firstly interact with and try and pick up and handle your guinea pigs on a regular basis. Try not to be too concerned about scaring them it it is all part of the process and trust me as you get better you will be less scary. You should be trying to pick them up every day more in the beginning when you're getting used to these techniques. Secondly a good way to practice holding them is to use the transporter hack to get them out of the cage, have them on your lap for a bit of lap time and then take the opportunity to practice just picking them up and holding them close to your body and popping them back down again. It's a really great way for both you and your guinea pig to get used to the sensation of being picked up. Also, if you are able to set up some floor time with your piggies, you can use that to try and encourage them to come up to you naturally and pick them up from there. Especially when combined with food, it's a great way to dispel their fear of being picked up. But ultimately, you'll find it's not the being cuddled and handled part that guinea pigs are afraid of, it's just the being picked up part. So try and remember this and keep it in mind when you're struggling and you're worrying about stressing them out too much by picking them up. When your piggies are out for floor time and lap time they will learn to chill out and relax with you and that's when you can really bond with them and realize that it is worthwhile learning how to pick them up and handle them properly. Handling and lap time is just one part of the bonding and taming process though so if you want more tips on taming and some step-by-step -step techniques that I've used successfully with all my guinea pigs then I recommend watching this video here next. But that is all for today guys I really hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!